Hey guys, I have something really special for you today because this is the Engineer's Ruler, a PCB ruler designed specifically for professional engineers, engineering students, and makers. I've honestly been dreaming about this ever since I was a student, and after a few iterations, it's here. And it has a lot going on, so let's start from the top with the magnifying lens. Now, having a lens isn't something I ever really wanted until I had one on the desk next to me. Because whether it's checking part numbers, the condition of solder joints, examining material wear, or countless other things, a strong magnifying lens enables you to understand what's going on at a scale beneath what you can only see with your eyes. It gives you that advantage. And to hold it in place, I didn't want to use clips or glue, I hate that, but rather a custom 3D printed mount soldered directly to the board. Now to get the most out of a lens, you have to throw lights on what you're looking at. So placed above and below it lie LEDs. Now I tried getting away with one LED, but it casts shadows over what you're looking at, so this ruler has two. You might have also noticed that the LEDs are, um, <laughs> well, they're upside down. Because for the ruler to not ruin your paper, the bottom couldn't have anything soldered to it, so I couldn't place the LEDs there, which meant that they had to be placed on the top of the PCB, but then if you turned them on, you'd get blinded by them and would have to rotate the entire ruler to use it, which was absurd. So instead, I routed out small, perfectly sized cutouts for the LEDs and placed them in, you guessed it, upside down. And as far as the coin cell battery mount and button are concerned, I actually bought and tested literally every type of battery mount and button available, and these two were simply the best. Beneath that, we find a spirit level with a concealed magnet, both of which are really underrated tools. I mean, I use the magnet constantly to hold small screws when pulling apart something, or to magnetize a screwdriver, and the spirit level whenever I'm leveling things, which I do more than I realized. And below that, there is an SMD size reference with all the most popular sizes, something very useful when replacing parts or designing PCBs. Below that, you'll find a protractor. On the underside, you'll find an American Y gauge reference, followed by a list of equations to convert between the most common metric and imperial units used by engineers. And beneath that, there is a list of common constants. Then we have a radians protractor and beside it resistor values allowing you to check the resistance of a resistor with little resistance. I couldn't resist. Oh and of course ruler wise there is a metric ruler on the front with half millimeter increments for the first three centimeters and across the way from it is a minor imperial ruler. Useful for when you're measuring something and it isn't a clean metric number, it allows you to glance across and see if it is in fact imperial. The underside has the opposite with the major ruler being imperial and the minor being metric. This was something I only realized the value of when working in industry and having to deal with parts from all over the world. So being able to spot that the thing you're measuring is imperial quickly is lovely. And there are many subtler features, but I'll leave those for you to notice. And for something that has taken months to get here, it is such a pleasure to share it with you and to finally have something like this. And if you want one, I have made a few, so it can be yours too.